saying, you can either respect women or what's that? Shit, I lost my train. Understand, was, understand. You can either, yeah, you can either understand. understand women or respect them, but you can't do both at the same time. Thank you, Mo. I have a question. And who said that? Yeah, it's a bit saying that's been going around for a while. So this guy doesn't have like the knowledge to understand and respect women at the same time. I think well, that's kind of Well, if you understand lame. them, you can't respect them as equals. You can understand a woman and respect her at the same time. Respect them as equals are two different things. You don't have to respect them as equals. That's you can my point. Uh, you can respect them to like their extent because women and men are not the same. Yeah, like respect them like children. No, we're not children though. They behave like children. This is really? Single. Yeah. Wait, you say like women behave like children? <clears throat> yeah, I, I, tr I literally look at you guys as children. I mean, yeah. Uh, so why do you fuck, you you fuck children? No. Yo, let's no. not break it there on the on the stream, but like. No, it, it, that's no. Not funny. I mean, as in, yeah, that's not fucking funny. Yeah, it's not funny. Yeah, don't fucking say of, that shit again. It kind of is because you're no, saying that women funny. are children. Like, if we don't have a train of thought, like if we don't have. No, because you guys don't have the same ability to rationale deductive problem solving taking accountability for your actions you guys lack these uh, skill sets a lot of the time so how do we raise That's your children I mean. how do we raise your children if we don't know how to solve problems you were and... raised by women yeah do you were like raised by a woman, woman. How, how do you think you're sitting here today no you guys lack you accountability and a matter of fact no, 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 if we like want to talk about women raising kids that's how you end up with fucked up kids single mothers are absolutely the biggest um denominator when it comes to fucked up kids single mothers well, you raised Actually, both, your parents both my parents that's why i got my head on straight Fucked up kids. That's, that's because eighty really percent of the fathers have left. So like that has nothing to do who with us. The men. The women. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. And and who the hell? You're like, lacking accountability right now. Yeah, Thank you. There you go. I'm that's not what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. The women pick the men, <laughs> and then the, they lack the accountability. No. And then, like I said before, okay, single mothers. Okay, we picked the men because we thought they were something they they didn't end up to be. Like, and the divorce oh, rates. Fuck. The women leave. And you agree with that because you say that men only want to be with women to fuck. So it's not our. It's not. Right. See how you're skirting accountability right now? This proves my point. This is what I'm trying to say. You guys are literally like children. You guys don't have accountability. But, which is fine. Society doesn't hold women accountable. But they just don't. You know what I find funny, though? He's telling you how men think so you can avoid the situation of being caught up or trapped. And you're like, no, it must be this way. You're wrong. I'm just, I'm just like, he's telling you what it is from the guy's mindset. So if you understand that, guess what you can do? Move smart. So you don't fall into no, that No, I 100% agree with that. <clears throat> but then for him to sit here and degrade us as we're trying to have mean, a sit here mean, in How did I degrade you? in general. How did I degrade you? Tell me specifically how I degraded you. You kicked a woman out of here a few minutes ago for she just was interrupting talking and over being you. Rude. Yeah. Exactly. That's degrading. No. How is that going to be degrading? How is that going to be degrading? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's not You know, like, it's just... No ponerte tan intensely. Yeah, yeah. When you guys talk, right, what do we do? We shut up. When he talks, what do you what do you guys do? I'll chime in. No, but no, we're no. all be having conversations. No, no, no. It wasn't no, no. like that at but all. Respectfully, she didn't show, ever tell we him made to a shut up. Saying, Listen, she didn't ever one tell mic him at a time, up. huh? She didn't ever tell him to shut up. She didn't ever. She didn't have to. No, she didn't have to. She was like, no. See, no. you tell her three times, shut up. No, no. no. What is that? Disrespectful. So then, if she would have told him to shut up, that would have been. No, no, but he. Who was this though? He didn't interrupt. No, 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 no. I'm not talking on that. Obviously, the question goes on that. But you get, do you get what I'm saying? When you talk, we shut up. It's when we talk, you say, no, 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 no. Not every, okay. If you don't like it, just, you know, just no, go walk out. I'm not talking about men. I'm just talking about, like, Her, me, yeah. and, me and him. Like, how he's coming to all of us. It's just, it, it, we're human. We have feelings. He's we're not just passionate. women. I don't. He's not. He's not. That's the, he's being the, the opposite okay. of so passionate. So, what is it? What is it then? What, what's he being right now? He's being, he's being aggressive. He's, he's being too, no. too. How has he been aggressive? Uh, Do you men believe that respect is earned or respect is given and earned? You want the truth? The two both yeah. can't exist. All you guys give it is the fucking on the truth. Person. So it's, it's it I mean, because as of right now, he just clearly wants respect. Not once did she disrespect him and you told really? her to shut up. You could have easily really? said be quiet what, or anything. What, but what, how many times did she interrupt me? Like, let me finish talking. Let how many times did she interrupt me? You interrupt us all the time. No. When I was talking in this situation with this girl that you're talking about, I was making a statement. How many times did she interrupt me? But if you want to respond, how many having, times did she interrupt me? We're all having conversations, so it's like I just I did. You can't have a conversation when two people are talking at the same time. A conversation requires you to actually listen, understand, and respond accordingly, not necessarily just talk. Well, we're all giving our opinions, and we're all sitting here. But I was making a statement on something, and then she interrupted me. Three times, actually, I counted it. That's why I told yeah. her to shut up. That's the question. I was counting you it as that was happening. You were straight talking to her, though. You guys no, were talking, I wasn't talking about to her. her. She was making ad-libs, and I was talking about something else that had nothing to do with her, but she had to go ahead and keep chiming in with her 
opinions. Because you kept pissing her off, saying that, oh, that's that's why you saw is your pussy. Is it my fault that she, can't control, that she can't control her emotions? Because I wasn't talking about her. I told her she was ta- selling pussy when she kept interrupting me. And then when she said something, something back, else you when couldn't it comes control to, your emotions. Look, I was so talking said, about something that had nothing to do with her. I was talking about infidelity in men and women. That's what we're talking about. And then she kept going ahead and chiming in her ad-libs. And I told her, be quiet, I'm talking. And I warned her like two or three times and she quiet. kept going. And ladies, here's the other you fucking thing. You said, shut the fuck up. That's what you said. Yeah, because after she wouldn't be quiet, after I told her multiple times. And here's another thing too. Look, I don't need to fucking explain myself on my goddamn fucking podcast, all right? It's my fucking show. If I'm running the show and I'm saying something and she's rudely interrupting me multiple times when we didn't do the same shit to her when she was speaking, then I'm going to tell her to shut the fuck up and I can do that if I need to because we're running a show here. This isn't like an uh, equal thing where it's like, oh yeah, your opinion matters too or blah, blah, blah when I'm saying something, all right? Like, it's not, th- this is the other thing too that women don't understand. There's meritocracy and shit. No one's here for her. They're here for us. So, we're on the show. It's called Fresh and Fit, not random, you know, suck Pajit dick day. So, why did you all ask right? us to come? Like, why? Because we all give our opinions. That's what I'm saying. Like, hold on, hold it's on. Just all... Can you imagine, right? If I came to your show, and whenever you spoke, I just said, No, yeah, I 100% yeah, yeah. agree that so, it's your so, show. It is your show. So, why are you arguing about so it? So, then why even bring that up? No, I didn't, I didn't bring that up. He you just said did. that it's you just his did. show. You just you brought said... up this fucking chick complained like you're rude and used yeah. her as example to yeah, substantiate your stupid ass it. argument. That's what I was talking I about. I told her that she was being rude by interrupting me because it's my shit and I'm talking. And then she did it multiple times. I said, be quiet. And she said, no. You catch that part when she said no a couple times? Yep. No, I, you didn't. I did. Yeah, because she was trying to have a conversation when you no, showed up. Bitch, it's my show. What the fuck are you talking about? Yo, let, let me be explicitly clear about this shit, all right? If it's my show and I'm talking... And then someone's interrupting, and I warn them two or three times to tell them, yo, be quiet. And they don't fucking do it. And then on top of that, they say, no. The fuck do you think is going to happen? There's ramifications for you acting a certain way. We got 10, 20,000 people watching her acting like fucking crazy. I feel like it's not her show, bro. I w- That's I the problem. Like I feel like instead of I think like. <laughs> That's the fucking problem. I, I feel like a lot instead of easier. I think like. See, you're doing it right now. I'm saying something, and then you want to go ahead and chime in and give your opinion. Wait. That's the issue. And you teach kids too? <clears throat> so if I, if I was a kid talking shit to you, oh, no, sorry, teacher. In your classroom, <laughs> saying no, when you tell them, hey, be quiet, no, what are no. you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, Come on. But she, you're going to make an example of that kid, right? You're going to put him on timeout. You're going to kick him out of the classroom. I wouldn't tell them to shut the fuck up, though. I'd be no, like, but you're going to but you're gonna enforce boundaries, she right? Felt, she felt like I don't give were... a fuck what she feels like. <clears throat> we're talking about something. We're having a grown adult conversation. She feels the need to go ahead and interject and give her opinions after I warned her to stop. If you're in a fucking classroom, and I know if you're in a fucking classroom and a kid disrespects you, you have to assert a dominance over that kid and tell him, hey, be quiet. And if they don't, you kick him out, right? Well, I'm Correct. not in a fucking classroom, and you guys are fucking adults, so I'm going to say shut the fuck up, because we're not in a classroom, all right? Now, if you don't like that, you're free to get up and leave. You're no, no, you're not being held here against your fucking will, but I'm going to, I'll be fucking damned if some fucking bitch that sucks some random Indian nigga's dick is going to come on my shit and tell me what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> fucking incredible. And look, I see some of y'all uncomfortable. Cool. You don't like it? Get the fuck up and leave right now. Who has an issue with the way I'm talking? You can. Who has an issue with the way I'm running my show? If you got a problem, get up and leave right fucking now. Because I don't give a fuck. I really don't. There you go. Get the fuck out of here. Why don't I? Why don't I? Just to see Smiley. Get the fuck out of here. They're all friends, by the way, so. Get the fuck up out of here. No, there we go. The fuck out of here. These bitches think it's their shit, man. Get the fuck up out of here. A forecastle? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Forecastle. Fucking muffin top. Oh fat bitch is talking shit. <laughs> oh fucking God. stomach hanging out over your fucking pants, man. Talking shit. Get the fuck out of here, and man. And your man cheeks, by the way. Stupid ass bitches, man. Just don't know. Nah, it's fucking no crazy. Oh, you, but yo, Bills, you know the worst part? No nigga, she got no ass, nigga. How are you fat with no ass, bitch? Talking all that shit. The fuck, man? No ass. Substitute teacher, man. Substitute life, man. God damn. The fuck? But that's not... This is respectful sense, ass bitches, man. If I mean, talk- it's your podcast. I'm not gonna lie. No, but I... I'm like trying to like bite my tongue because no, no, no. like I know where you're coming from. I'm yeah. gonna be honest. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> she was interrupting. Yeah, and he did say, "Hey, hey like, you bitches can shut the fuck up in the elevator, man. Nobody gives a fuck what you fucking bitches gotta say. Fuck y'all, man. You need to hit the gym. Okay. Your fucking stomach is hanging out over your pants, you fat bitch. Oh God. <laughs> All right, where are you saying you were saying something? This is the good, bro. Yo, Mark, that was so Yo, are they bro, actually leaving? <laughs> we have a song called <laughs> Flat, Flat, oh, yeah, Flat. Oh, yeah, that was her. So listen, sorry, continue. That's the first time. Wow. That's um, the first time okay. I know, I, so yeah, like he was saying, um, she was talking over him, mm. and I get it. He was saying, hey, like, I'm talking, like, you know? And 
when Respectful. she said no, yeah. she kept saying no, which is true. I mean, I, I do want to take her side, but I can't because she was interrupting. And I mean, I don't like that he said, you know, shut the fuck up. But I mean, it, like he said, it's his podcast. It's his I, podcast. I, I just think you guys understand where we're coming from. <laughs> you can't disrespect but, someone and then get angry at how they respond to you. Like, you're on someone's shit, you're a guest, and then you say no three times. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, yeah. shut the fuck up. See, that's the problem. Women aren't used to account used to being held accountable for their poor decisions. Yeah. You come on a fucking big ass podcast, embarrass yourself. You've been on it multiple times too, and you think you're gonna act like this? Like, no, shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, that's how this shit goes. You know what I mean? It's like I'm not gonna sit here unless a fucking girl that's a slut that sucks dick try to talk shit to me. It's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, no. Like you're here as a fucking guest. Don't act crazy. And again, if this is your show, we do the same. Just be quiet. If you say, I would never go on someone's podcast and they're talking and me just give random ad libs. Nah, 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 nah. But this just goes to show like the the blatant disrespect, yep. disregard that females have for men in general. That's what I'm trying to explain. I say all the time, most women don't respect most men. Yeah, she doesn't like men. She doesn't respect. Yeah, she don't. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Not even Pajit. He's paying. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> and that nigga paying, bro. bro. That's crazy. And that nigga paying, bro. That nigga's paying full.